The Purdue College of Engineering is developing a new technology that could help anyone without sight or hearing abilities. Professor Hong Tan is leading the charge in technology that sends messages through the touch of skin. News 18's Dakota Simon shows us how the device is helping those in need. What you're hearing may sound mechanical, but with proper training, you'd learn there were actually words. There's different vibrations for the different phonemes, so the different sounds that make up a word. Katie Seglio has been putting on a sleeve that can communicate without sight or sound. After learning a series of vibrations, she now needs no verbal cues to repeat a word. I came in once a day for two weeks um, to learn all, you said, 39 phonemes. Um, so I would practice with just a couple each day and get used to those and then add on more the next day. The sleeve you see here was developed by a research team in Purdue's electrical engineering department, headed by Professor Hong Tan. Sai. The technology has been decades in the making. This was like 30 years later, technology is a lot better, so we just jumped at the opportunity. Professor Tan has been researching technology for decades to help those who can't see or hear. Whether the setting be the classroom or elsewhere, Tan says she's thought of many examples. We talk about firefighters. Uh, if it's really noisy and foggy and it's hard to communicate, skin serves as another channel. She says receiving information without the distraction of a phone or other device can be invaluable. Basically, any situation where um, I call if you are situationally deaf or blind. Above all else, Tan hopes the new technology becomes one thing in the future, normal. Someday it'll just be a second nature for people to walk around with clothing on their body that actually does double duty. Clothes that might just be able to talk to you. Reporting in West Lafayette, Dakota Simon, News 18. The Purdue research team is partnering with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology on the project. Well, a hot and sunny day today.